keep an eye on it for a second. Yeah, I'm watching. Yours was turned down, I turned it up some. Oh, okay. Going through practice and trying to score on their goalie. Nobody's been able to get a fine. Stop it, everyone. That's a good thing. That's a good thing for defense. Yeah. They're going to need that. I checked it. It was like, like, you said it's eight. That's the first team. Yeah, the first team. Yeah, nobody's scored yet.
called, they were out there, they went through that line twice. And nobody so scored on the goal? Okay. Uh, Let's just hope that it looks like it says more about the goal than it does about the not <laughs> Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to another exciting edition of High School Sports here on your High School Sports Leader, Oregon Sports Beat. Tonight from Woodburn, a classic matchup of 4A boys' soccer powers, the Woodburn Bulldogs and the Newport Cubs. That's the two-time defending state champion Newport Cubs. Also, the Woodburn Bulldogs, the defending 5A state champions from last year. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Hall. I'll be calling the play-by-play, -play, working with me tonight. My broadcast partner, Steve Roberts, our crew tonight, Ryan Johnson and Jim Thompson. Thanks for joining us here at Woodburn High School. The sun's about to go down, the lights are on. We'll have, uh, we'll be out of the bright sunlight here in about 10 minutes. We'll get this game underway. And one of the things, Steve, when you look down there right away, you notice it's grass. It's grass, so what that means is that that ball's gonna move a little bit slower. Those passes that go over the defense's head and drop, are going to die down before they get to the goalie, so we might see a lot of foot races for the ball tonight. Um, you know, and um, but you know the field looks good. It is a thick grass, and um, the weather's great. All right, I want to setting. tell you about our sponsors tonight. Our title sponsors, Clearwater Restaurant. Clearwater Restaurant is proud to sponsor the defending state champion Newport High School soccer team. Clearwater Restaurant is on Newport's Bayfront. It gives you a one-of-a-kind dining experience with breathtaking views, playful sea lions and award-winning gourmet food. Outdoor and indoor dining, full bar and lounge, here's to a great year on and off the field from your friends at Clearwater. And Kenyon Way Dental, they're focused on providing families with the most comfortable dental care on the Oregon coast. Dr. Hewlett and his experienced staff are ready to help you with all of your dental needs and ongoing dental health. Of course, the uh, Bulldogs Last Thursday night down in Staten, a loss to Staten, won the nothing in a very exciting game. Staten scored a goal in the first three minutes of that game and neither team scored after that. So let's see if the Bulldogs can get back at this. That sounds like I missed a good one out there last week. We just finished watching the uh, JV game that was won by Woodburn five to nothing. And in watching that game, I noticed the huge difference in the uh, artificial surface in the grass. This game plays much slower, much slower here on the uh, grass. Thanks for joining us here. This, all the rest of these games are important mm -hmm. for the Newport Cubs. The Cubs last year had to play their way into the playoffs. Of course, when they did, they ran the table. That may be the situation this year. They may have to play their way into the uh, into the playoffs. Yeah, they had a very they did a very good job of peaking right at the right time last year to um, play some of their best soccer as they were going into the postseason. All right, Newport Cubs, they're in their you know, uh, white jerseys, red shorts, blue lettering, Woodburn Bulldogs, blue uniforms, white lettering. Cubs are coached by Ollie Richardson. The uh, Bulldogs head coach is Leroy Sanchez. Lights are on, we're just waiting for the sun to go down. And we're underway. Newport, Woodburn, boys 4A soccer here from Woodburn. And the Bulldogs like to get off to a fast start. Steve, before the game was starting, Newport was warming up by taking shots on their own goalie. I watched them go through their entire team line twice. Nobody scored. Jose Gonzalez with the ball, number 21. Oscar Jimenez, number seven. And the Bulldogs cross the ball over to the other side and it goes out.
throw in there. Woodburn. Newport in control. They're moving from our right to our left. And the Bulldogs reverse the field. Down the right side, they have a player forward. There's a ball in the middle, knocked away, cleared away. Newport, Newport with, I'm sorry. Newport with a good <laughs> job of clearing the ball away. And Reyes comes up with it. Luis Reyes, the goalie. First team all state last year. Gonzalez and it goes out off of Jose Gonzalez. Throw in. Bulldogs. We're just underway here in Woodburn. So Woodburn looking there with a very quick transition on that throw in um, to get the ball back into play. Woodburn 10 and 1 on the season. Newport 6 and 5. Hope you had a chance to join us on Saturday night down in uh, uh, South Albany. 5A soccer game, South Albany and Corvallis, and that was won by a goal by South Albany in the last few seconds of the game, one to nothing. Nice play to get that ball there for a cross. He's got a There's nice the cross, cross in front oh. and headed over the net. Headed way over the net. That was a nice play. He set that up very nicely. He made that cross. Uh, you know, the um, two um, offensive players heading to the goal just got underneath the ball a bit too much. Goal kick coming up for Reyes. Reyes with the big leg. There's the kick. Drives the ball. And a whistle. It'll be a foul. It's going to be a free kick coming up for the Cubs. A kick forward. That's going to go out of play. Luis Reyes in goal for the Cubs, in goal for uh, Woodburn. Number one, that's Isaac Pareko. Pareko had a big game in that one to nothing loss to Staten the other night. Bulldogs with the ball. Two 40 minute halves were just underway. 35 20 left to go here in the first half. And the Bulldogs will go back and set this up. Cubs come forward. That was Jose Gonzalez right in front of us, number 21. You'll hear him, his name called a lot tonight. He's all over the field for the Cubs. Fans are sitting in front of us, and we have a crowd mic down there. If you hear somebody yelling, Chapito, that's what the players call Gonzalez. Free kick. I'm sorry, goal kick. That's Reyes. Do you think the slower play helps the Cubs? Well, you know, the um, uh, um, Woodburn is always going to have a, a home 
field advantage there with the grass this way. They practice on it, they play on it. So there'll be an advantage there. They'll know how much that ball will slow down, um, how much extra to put on the ball to get the passes to go as far as they want and how much to take off. Uh, Newport will have to make adjustments um, you know, to the ball here. Although sometimes Newport likes playing small ball and that will help them get those triangles and get there quickly. There was a shot from about 20 yards out. Reyes jumps up and catches it. Reyes not particularly tall, but he was able to jump up and get that. First team all state goalie. These are the defending 4A and 5A champions from last year meeting in league play. And that happened because Woodburn dropped down to 4A and they were placed in the Oregon West Conference along with Staten and Newport. Down the right side. Reyes positions himself a crossing play and just went past a Woodburn player right yes, in front did. of the net. A missed opportunity for the Bulldogs. They quickly come back up the pitch though. Here come the Cubs. That ball goes out, it's gonna be a throw in for the Cubs. 32-40 left to go here first half, no score. First time these two teams met, a Bulldog victory in Newport, four to one. There's a throw in the middle. Juan Lopez was there, the ball bounced over his head. Oscar Jimenez chases it down, but it goes forward. Guzman. And a whistle. What do you think, Steve? Maybe five more minutes till the sun goes down? Yeah, we have about... Um, the sun's directly in our eyes uh, and in maybe, our camera. Maybe a little bit more than that. Ten, ten minutes? Ten. Okay. Yeah, before it's all the way down. We won't have to squint to look what's going on down there. Cubs trying to move forward. That's Gonzalez, Jose Gonzalez. And the ball taken away and a whistle. Foul on the Cubs, free kick. A give and go back down the right side. Here come the Bulldogs, there's a cross. Attempted header there in the middle, takes a big spill. <clears throat> and the ball was a little bit behind him. He needed to. Well, it's a good job defensively. There's the ball cleared out in the middle. There's the header. Oh. And a, a shot there. Reyes got a hand on it right at the end yeah. to deflect it just wide to the left. <coughs> Reyes with a goal kick. Reyes deflected that to his left, our right. Gonzalez sends that forward. Jose with another shot forward, and Pareko's gonna come out and get that. We're closing in on 30 minutes left to go here in the first half. We've played almost 10 minutes, no score. Guzman, they send that forward. That Oscar Jimenez, ball hits him in the back. Nice slide that time by Guzman. Guzman sends it towards the middle. Guzman hits that back. Now they send it off on the side. Oh, we gotta, we've got to be able to bring that in there. That should be a goal. Oh, goalie's there. 
A nice setup that time, just not enough on there and far enough to the corner. Goalie does a nice job of stopping that. Woodburn that time set it up, got it into the middle. Steve thought that was a sure goal, but you can never say that when uh, Luis Reyes is in the nets. Cubs down the right side. I think I'll have to do that throw in over again. <laughs> Whistle hadn't blown to go ahead and start play. Looks like we got a sub coming in. <laughs> Looked to me like Alex Aparicio, number 11, just checked into the game. Thanks for joining us here on Oregon Sports Beat, live 4A soccer, Newport Cubs with Burn Bulldogs. 4A soccer action, there's a shot towards the middle. Reyes jumps up and gets that ball. Bulldogs had another player right in mm -hmm. front. He was up there too, I think he would have got a good contact on that ball. Down the right side, towards the middle. Cubs have three players there in the middle. Throw in coming up. Throw in for the Bulldogs. No. no, throw in for the Cubs. Sorry, it was not a it was not a throw in. That was a foul and that was a free kick. Steve, the uh, Cubs are getting a lot of players forward. They're getting opportunities. Yeah, they changed their strategy a bit here. Um, uh, they weren't getting too much offensive time, and, and now they are seem to be getting into a rhythm there where they can uh, make that transition and get back down by their goal. That player that was on the right that time for Woodburn, that's one of their quickest players, number two, Jimmy Martin. Yeah, he's been very instrumental so far tonight on that, that right wing there. He gets a, has good speed to get around the defender and has made a couple of nice passes couple of nice crosses so far. He's in front of the net right now, but he has great speed down the right wing. There's the ball in front. Reyes picks it up. If you hear that noise, that's, that's uh, the, the wind. We have our crowd mic down on the field. Martin that time, and there's a collision between uh, Martin and uh, Ben Perez. In fact, my partner Steve's putting his coat on. <laughs> that sun went down, man, and it's got a little bit chilly very quickly here. It was 80 here earlier when we showed up today. Oh, really? 25-40 left to go at the first half, no score. Halftime, I'll update you on what we got going on the rest of the week at the Oregon Sports Week. Got some exciting action. Here comes Jose Gonzalez, tries to turn the corner, sends the ball forward, and that'll go out. Throw in coming up for the Bulldogs. Free kick coming up. Gonzalez will take it. Yep, actually going to leave the ball for Tristan Wolf. Gonzalez will go forward. Now he moves towards the middle. There's the ball towards the middle. There's a shot. Too hard. Way over. Christopher Arzola Guzman, too hard over the net. Tell you what, Steve, we've had some great pictures this year of sunsets. One at Tualatin, here, Newport.
Guzman throws it in. Here comes Martin down the right side. He has all that speed, sends it forward. There's the ball in front and uh, Woodburn kind of whiffs on the ball there. Had another player wide open in front. Yeah, they're setting him up. That was a good job on the defense there to get in between um, the player and the, and the go there to make him adjust and miss that shot. I don't know if you could hear Jose Gonzalez yelling in front of us. He <laughs> wanted, he wanted uh, um, Jose, uh, uh, Jimenez to get the ball. Oh. And uh, Guzman takes a big uh, fall there. A ball out on the right. And that's going to go out. And it'll be a throw-in coming up for the Cubs. Woodburn with the ball forward. There's a shot oh. wide right. Luis Reyes had the angle cut off that time, and the shot went wide right. Well, we got a chance. I want to tell you about Oregon OCI Care. OCI Care is dedicated to the community and to the highest standards of eye care available. Reyes with a goal kick. In the middle, there's Lopez. Juan Lopez leaves it for Gonzalez. Here's Jimmy Martin. Martin forward. Leaves the pass. Martin goes back to the middle. In on goal, there's a kick way over the net. Actually, it was deflected straight up in the air. I thought it was over the net, but it was straight up. Balls was still in play. Throw in, Jimmy Martin throws it in. That's number eight for uh, Woodburn, and number eight was Trevor Carcelbone. Number 14 right in front of us for the Bulldogs. That's Emmanuel Escalona. There's a shot on the ground and Reyes down there to trap it. Reyes down on his knees and just scooped that up. Looked like a shortstop fielding the ball. Cubs. There's the ball forward. Steve, the Bulldogs certainly have had some chances right in front of the net. They've set mm -hmm. things up and not been able to convert anything. Yeah, they've done a nice job of getting that ball outside here on this right wing here, and he gets down in deep and he's able to make the cross. Uh, they've had players in position a couple of times uh, miss ball was higher behind them but um have plenty of opportunity to score a goal so far you know um Newport's goalkeeper is definitely doing his job and living up to his rep again we're under halfway through now the first half 1935 left to go here in the first half still no score Martin to pass forward there's a the ball in front and nice defensive play that time that was Guzman in front. Christopher Arzola Guzman with a great 
way stepping in the middle there and stopping that shot. That ball goes out, it'll be a throw in coming up for the Bulldogs. 19 minutes now, no score. <laughs> Bulldogs with the ball. They'll send it back to start over. Back in the middle for the Bulldogs. That's number 22, and that's Riley Menez. Nice job that time stepping in between that ball. Number 16 for Newport. That is uh, Alan Islas Ruiz. Martin has Ruiz on him now. In the middle. There's a great block that time. Oh, this one. Oh. Good defensive play that time by number 12 for the Cubs, and that's uh, Kai Daniels. That shot, the, the uh, Woodburn player stopped, set up, unloaded, and Daniels was right there to block it. Yeah, it was a very nice uh, defensive play down there to keep that from, keep that goalie uh, from getting in trouble there. Corner kick coming up. This is the first corner kick of the game. Here comes the corner kick from the Bulldogs. They do very well on these. Ball in the middle and cleared out. Jose Gonzalez, and that's going to be a foul. Free kick coming up. Gonzalez down the right side, gets it ahead. That's Aparicio. That ball goes out and it'll be a throw in coming up for the Bulldogs. Coming in on goal, there's a shot. Reyes goes down and blocks it. If that ball had been any higher, it'd have gone in the net. <laughs> Goal kick coming up for Newport. Reyes. And Newport needs to generate a little bit more on the offensive end here and um, take the pressure off the goalie. Woodburn, they're tasting that go real bad now. They just they, <laughs> they've been close on a few occasions. They've been close to on uncontested <laughs> shots, and Reyes has saved the Cubs. Free kick coming up. Free kick for the Bulldogs. <laughs> this is number. And that ball headed off to the left. Taking that kick for Woodburn was number eight, Trevor Carseboom. They tried to head the wall, but it headed it off to the left. <laughs> Goal kick coming up for Reyes. <laughs> Luis with that hard kick. Oh, 
boy, Steve, the Bulldogs have had success coming down both wings, on the right and the left. Uh, they've got great speed. They, they do on that side. You know, both sides, they have good speed, and um, they've been taking advantage of it so far. That, that is always helpful. I think they made a couple of uh, steals and are able to get the ball quickly in the striking territory. There's the ball in front, knocked away. Nice job defensively that time. Guzman taken away, and here come the Bulldogs right back at it. They seem to be relentless, Steve. They, they're coming forward all the time. Yep. And they play, they play tight defense, too. <laughs> Off on the left wing, there's a shot, a crossing shot, and too hard. Uh -huh. Too high, too hard. And that ball goes out, throw-in coming up for the Bulldogs. Number six on the throw-in, and that's uh, Salvador Perez. Goal kick coming up. We got some subs coming in here. All right, subs check into the game. We're at 12 minutes and 15 seconds left to go. Luis Reyes with a kick. Still no score in this game. Woodburn and Newport at Woodburn on the grass field. They'll send that back to Pareko, the goalkeeper. Isaac Pareko. First time that the uh, Cubs have been up in Woodburn territory in a while. There's a shot from Gonzalez on the outside. Uh, that went over the net and hit. There was a golf cart traveling <laughs> right behind the net, and uh, Gonzalez hit it. That's what the crowd was laughing about. Better than a go sometimes. It's just like at the shooting gallery at the <laughs> circus. <laughs> Cubs move forward again. Bulldogs down the right side. Try to put a ball in front. They do and clear it away. Again, good defense right in front of the goal by Kai Daniels. Daniels hits the deck over there, no call. The uh, fans are getting a little restless. They see all those missed scoring opportunities for Woodburn. Take it away. Cubs have Wolf forward, but taken right back away. Here come the Bulldogs. And Kai Daniels clears that away again. Daniels back there, he's sort of the sweeper. Ball went through Lopez's legs. Bulldogs.
They're gonna try to go down the right wing again, this time knocked away. That was Ruiz. Alan Isla Ruiz. You can see right in front of us, number 16. He cleared that ball that time, but now Woodburn tries to go down the left side. They've made a couple of runs down the right side, now they go back to the left. And they've been very successful on both sides. Still no goals though. 8.44 left to go here. A ball way up in the air. Got a player hit the deck. No call, a goal kick coming up. Exactly eight minutes, clock just ticked under eight minutes. Reyes with a kick coming up. Ball back to midfield. And throw in coming up. Bulldogs get it in. 7.20 left to go here first half. Still no score. <laughs> Down the right side, Bulldogs send it into the middle. Get back to the flat there. Yeah. Good speed there, he'll make a cross. Oh. Bulldogs had a player standing right on the edge by their left upright. The ball went right by him. Bulldogs are getting some great crosses, just not converting any of them. 6.35, no score. Reyes with a goal kick. And throw in coming up for the Cubs. Down the left side, Bulldogs trying to get somebody in the middle. And there's the ball to go out. I think they got a corner coming here, huh? I think so, yes they do. Corner kick for the Bulldogs. Their second of the game. There's the kick. Out towards the middle, there's a header sent back and now cleared away. That last ball was cleared away. That was number uh, 30 and that was Brian Tapia. Mm -hmm. Cubs. And taken away. 4.45 left to go here in the first. Good evening, folks. Just wanted to uh, remind you that if you were here for senior night and you're here for senior player, is that a PA announcer? Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
We're approaching four minutes left to go in the first half. Lots of action, no goals. No, yeah. Push, 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 fast, 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 fast. Yeah. Newport, the Cubs are just having a hard time. They can get the ball down into their go, 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 to go, go, offensive go, 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 territory, go, go, go. but they haven't been able to get a shot off. Yeah. Moving in, uh, in front, and there's a shot. Reyes falls on the ball. He's going to lay on it for a while. He's going to say, oh, wow. That was a scary moment for him there because the play, he had defensive players there, but the player was able to elude them a bit and get outside and get a really good turn on the ball. He just laid on the ball. He thought, you know, while I have it down here, I'm just going to hold it for a while. Give me a break, guys. Bulldogs on the right, looking for something in the middle. And Kai Daniels steps in and heads that away. There's a shot blocked. That was a nice time, a nice block that time by number 18, Renee Peterson. Mm -hmm. Defense have been, done a good job when that ball bounces out to get in front of it so they don't get a second and ter third attempt. Exactly. Kai Daniels and Renee Peterson doing a good job back there on defense. Reyes with the kick. Bulldogs have started midfield. They start forward and cleared away. That's Daniels. <laughs> Cubs still with the ball down the right side. The throw in coming up for the Cubs. And that cleared away. We're at a minute 35. Cubs don't want any cheap goals here. Good defensive play there. Ryan Tafia. Tafia Peterson and Daniels. And there's Daniels clearing it forward. Uh, he's offsides there. Yeah, flags up. Offside. Free kick coming up for the uh, Bulldogs. That was a good defensive play back there. If that ball had to sneak through that defense there, the offense would have had momentum his way and it would have been trouble for the goalie. Daniels clears that forward again. Kai Daniels been all over the place on defense. Daniels, Tapia in the middle back there. Jose Gonzalez back on defense too. Trying to prevent anything cheap from happening here with 35 seconds left to go. Oscar Jimenez sends it back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez forward, still with the ball. Cubs come forward, Gonzalez still with the ball. Knocked away, 15 seconds, Gonzalez chases it down. Cubs still with the ball. Might get across here. Like yep, nice job inside to get some room there. Ruiz uh, loses it. I think he took a couple Three of Three seconds, many. two seconds, one second. There's the horn. That is the end of the first half. A pretty exciting first half in spite of the fact that nobody scored. All right, we're at Woodburn High School, Newport and Woodburn in boys 4A soccer. Again, a reminder, our score, Woodburn nothing, Newport nothing as we get ready for the second half. I want to remind you about our great sponsors tonight who help make these broadcasts possible. And first, I want to tell you about Clearwater Restaurant. Clearwater Restaurant is proud to sponsor the defending state champion Newport High School soccer team. Clearwater Restaurant is on Newport's Bayfront 
and gives you a one-of-a-kind experience with breathtaking views, playful sea lions, and award-winning gourmet food. Outdoor and indoor dining, full bar and lounge, here's to a great year on and off the field from your friends at Clearwater. And our other title sponsor is Canyon Way Dental. Canyon Way Dental is focused on providing families with the most comfortable dental care on the Oregon coast. Dr. Hewlett and his experienced staff are ready to help you with all your dental needs and ongoing dental health. Steve, thoughts about the first half? You know, it seems like um, Woodburn has definitely had more offensive time on the ball and they've taken more shots. The goalie has done a great job of of blocking those shots. Defense has done a good job of, of keeping a more additional shots from coming. But um, So um, Woodburn has definitely worked the defense of, of Newport very hard. Newport has managed to get the ball up in their offensive territory, but they just, just have not managed to get the ball into a position where they can get shots on goal. And um, so they're, the goalie for um, Woodburn has not really been tested much tonight. Um, yeah, does uh, Newport have a shot on goal? I don't think. I can't I don't, recall I don't, I don't calling one. one. Yeah, so the goalie has really not been tested tonight. Um, Do you uh, feel like we're sitting on a powder keg here and the sparks uh, are flying? You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where um, a goal is going to, you feel like a goal is going to happen any moment. You know, it's just the momentum's there, the shots are there. Um, even, even when Newport came down this last possession and they were able to keep the ball in here, you felt like, okay, they're, they're going to have an opportunity here. So um, that keeps it kind of exciting going on. But... Um, both teams are working hard on this grass pitch tonight, and um, we'll see what happens in the next period. Has anybody seen a, a shot on goal by Newport yet? I don't believe they have a shot on goal. Speaking of shots on goal, I want to tell you about Central Coast Soccer Association. Central Coast Soccer is proud to support the Cubs. CCSA provides the recreational youth soccer throughout Lincoln County. Spring and fall leagues are available for players starting at age four. You can get them at www.centralcoastsoccer.org or follow them on Facebook. That's Central Coast Soccer. Future Cubs start here. Speaking of Cubs, Steve, what do the Cubs need to do here? You know, they're going to have to pick up their game, play a little bit more like they played at the end of the period there, um, try to find opportunities. Uh, I think they're taking maybe one or two too many touches. When, once they get an opening down there near the goal, they have to either make the cross or go. Uh, the dribbling in between is going to just cause more of um, Woodburn players to get back on defense. So they're going to have to make their shots come a bit quicker uh, to get them off even down here. All right, I want to tell you about our friends at Schooner Landing. Schooner Landing is the friendliest vacation resort on the central Oregon coast. They have Cape Cod style condominiums and they offer complete functional amenities to give you the relaxation you're looking for. Make your stay in Newport unforgettable nightly and weekly rentals are available and you know what they have our personal endorsement oregon <laughs> sports beat stays at schooner landing when yeah, we come down there and i know uh, uh renee peterson's mom works there and okay. i had a chance to talk to her last time when we were down here all right we're at halftime here at the woodburn high school there's some festivities going on in the field i'm not quite sure what that is but uh uh, we'll keep it here for a little while. And I want to remind you about one of our other great sponsors, and that's Mize Asian Market. Mize Asian Market is specializing in Asian and Pacific Rim products, Chinese herbal products, custom orders, and cooking tips. Visit them at 256 East Olive Street in Newport. They're open Monday to Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 5. That's Mize Asian Market. Get a chance to stop by our sponsors and tell them thanks for uh, bringing you Newport Cubs soccer. I think what we'll do, since we have an extended halftime, we'll take a short break and we'll come back with about two minutes to go in half. So we're going to take a break here. It's halftime in Woodburn, Oregon. 4A soccer here on Oregon Sports Beat. Our score Newport nothing, Woodburn nothing. We'll be right back. Oh, I'm going to go to the 
gonna pull the reach. Yeah, I like the reach. Fuck. Oh, that makes more sense. At least I pull the reach. You don't pull the reach on your face. You like this? Oh, you're not picky and shit. Fuck you. You can't get under my shirt. Look at that. Look at that. You can't get under my shirt. Hey, I don't know what it's like. Dude, they're gonna skip this. They are, dude. Come on, shout out. I'll take a bag. Okay. Is that water? Sorry, I think this camera is nice to the hell? Hey, I want to say you guys did a good job on your videos. Oh, well, enjoy your losing. Watch you. Good job all the way through. All good. You mean the uh, new oh, or yeah. state and game? No, the Woodburn game, the last game oh. there. I thought it was uh, well done, very professional. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. all the way around. Let's go, dude. Oh my God, can this bitch or what? All right, welcome back. We're at halftime here for a boys' soccer from Woodburn, and our score at halftime is Woodburn nothing. Newport Nesting. I want to tell you about some of our great sponsors who are making all this possible. One of them is OCI Care, and OCI Care is dedicated to the community and to the highest standard of eye care available. And another great sponsor of ours is Mai's Asian Restaurant. Mai's Asian Market specializes in Asian and Pacific Rim products, Chinese herbal products, custom orders, and cooking tips. You can visit them at 256 East Olive Street in Newport. They're open Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 5. That's Mai's Asian Market. I want to tell you about our schedule coming up here at Oregon Sports Beat the rest of the week. Thursday night, we're going to bring you exciting boys 6A uh, soccer, and we're going to have two of the top five teams in the state. Uh, Central Catholic and uh, uh, David Douglas, and they're going to be at Delta Park on the Strasser Field at Delta Park. The start time on that is 6.15. I believe the current rankings have Central Catholic 1 and David Douglas 4. And we've already done a David Douglas uh, game earlier this year, and they looked uh, simply outstanding. So we'll catch that game 6.15 on uh, Thursday night at Strasser Field at East Delta Park. So tune in and catch that. Friday night, we're gonna bring you football and uh, we're closing in on the last two weeks. The PIL championship is gonna be decided over those last two weeks. And Thursday night, we'll bring you Lincoln at Madison. The start time on that is seven. Lincoln coming off of a big win last Friday night when they beat uh, Jefferson 63 to 19. Nick Osmo in that game with five touchdowns and almost 300 yards rushing. So tune in and catch us uh, Friday night, Lincoln at Madison. Okay, we're getting close to the start of the second half. Remind you about Central Coast Soccer Association. Central Coast Soccer is proud to support the Cubs. CCSA provides recreational youth soccer throughout Lincoln County. Spring and fall leagues are available for players starting at age four. www.centralcoastsoccer.org. Follow them on Facebook, Central Coast Soccer. Future Cubs start here. All right, Cubs back out on the field. Cubs in their white tops, red shorts. Blue lettering, they will move from our left to our right. Bulldogs, they are to our right and will move to our left. Blue uniforms, white trim, white numbers. All right, no score. We're underway. I think one of the things the Cubs got to watch for, Steve, is they got to watch for some quick attack. You know, it's like I said that uh, it looks like New uh, Woodburn is sitting on a powder keg, and uh, they may try to get something going right off the bat here. 
Oh, yeah, they're very quick. Uh, you know, they have some very quick wings that can get around the outside um, um, and have done a nice job of crossing the ball. Now, those wings, if they come, they can also come inside and take a shot, and you just don't know what, what happened. Look out, there's there a shot, is. and there's the goal. Very quick right there, yep. And that goal is scored by number 25. Let me make sure on that. Let me make sure as they come down here just a ways. Yes, the goal scored by number 25. Nice play, and that's what they did. Crossing pattern, and he's put his hands up. He wants the acknowledgement. That's number 25, and that is Jesus Rodriguez. A goal, that coming 37 seconds into the start of the second half. Yeah, it was very quick. Um, you know, the nice cross went all the way through um, to the far wing, and he was able to put it in with a nice left foot shot to the far side of the post. <laughs> Just what I feared would happen, happened. One to nothing, New Newport trails. Rodriguez was proud of that goal. He had his hands up in the air. He came by the crowd. And Jose Gonzalez hits the deck. That'll be a foul. Free kick coming up for the Cubs. Kai Daniels. Daniels played so well defensively at the end of the first half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long pass forward. And he is quick. This uh, is one of their inside um, forwards there, and he's very quick on his feet. That's number 10, and it's Hiro. Oh, Aguirre. another opportunity. <laughs> and uh, the ball headed over the top of the net, and the uh, Bulldog player who did that came down and jumped up and grabbed the top. He wanted to see exactly how high it was. And that was uh, Trevor Ke Carseboom and tipped it right over. Within the first uh, two minutes, we've had two shots on goal. And you're right, Steve. Number 10 has great speed. Yeah, he's got great speed, good acceleration. He's got good ball handling skills. And, um, you know, again, um, could have probably made an opportunity for himself to shoot, but decided to go ahead and pass it to the far side and had a couple players there to get a shot on go off. That's uh, Hiro Gary, number 10. Nice block that time. And that was Guzman on the block. Guzman also played well defensively in the first half. Just underway here, Woodburn High School. Woodburn with a quick goal to start the second half, leads one to nothing. Brian Tapia clears that out of the way. Cubs come forward, that's Jose Gonzalez. Gonzalez chips it over on the left wing. And they'll send that back. Now the Newport has had a hard time. They get some momentum going, but they have a hard time maintaining that pass. It gets intercepted and then um, they have to regroup again. So again, they're, they're down in offensive territory here, but um, that defense swarms them. There's a nice through there. Uh, cut off shot too high. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't see the flag go up. Yeah. Offside? Yeah. Offside. Yeah, he came through a little bit early, and um, you know, otherwise it would have been a nice play, but um, he came through early and got behind the defense. Chris, 
long ball forward. Uh, this could be trouble here. Well, he'll go to the outside. He'll look to make a cross unless he can dribble around here. Being guarded by Tapia. That's a Gary. Nice move. Putting on some dribbling skills. There's the ball too hard over the top. Cubs come down with oh, it. That was a nice move there. That's the goal scorer, Jesus Rodriguez there oh. in front. And he was trying to get the ball. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, inches away from another goal in front and that was uh, Edwin Silva, number three, had moved forward and the crossing pass that there out there was just off his foot. We got a corner here. Corner coming up, this is the third one. In front, Reyes. And it's on the top, of the, is, top of the net. Ball is caught on the top of the net. I'm not sure if Reyes got a hand on it and got it over there or if it just landed there. Uh, but, but because he's getting the, the goalie kick here, it must have just landed there in the oh, okay. eyes. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's a high kick there. So foul, it'll be a free kick. They're coming up. Newburn. Newburn. Woodburn. Woodburn with the ball. Gonzalez tries to clear it out from the front. There's a long ball, and that's way off to the right. <laughs> Reyes with a kick. Forward. Number 25, Rodriguez in front and missed another cross just off the <laughs> foot. And he, went, he felt that one, he went at that one. And number 12, who missed that that time, just off his foot, Paul Prudencio. Oh, there's a nice pass there. Oh, oh no. Go, 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 go. I'll tell you one thing, um, you can tell that Woodburn is used to playing on this grass because it's not slowing them or the ball down a bit right now. Thirty-two minutes left to go in this game. One to nothing. Woodburn leads Newport. Free get coming up. You know, OCI Care is dedicated to the community and to the highest standards of eye care available. That's OCI Care. Free kick. Newport sets up a wall. Lots of players in the front. They're going to pass it off. Inside a little chip shot and a header over the top. Yep. Over the top. Let me see, I'm not sure, but I think that was Karsaboom, number nine. Uh, he's down there in the red, the orange shoes. He's the one who was upset that he missed. <laughs> okay, that was number 10. The orange shoes are number 10. And... Uh, <laughs> Right uh, Number 10's all the speed. There he is in front. Dishes off on the side. This is Jesus Rodriguez. Rodriguez is, off yeah. the side. Easy goal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you see that developing there. The goalie had no option but to come out on Rodriguez. Um, otherwise, Rodriguez would have walked it into the goal. 
and then he was able just to cross it away from the goalie and he had his um, player did wise and got wide on that and was able to put it in easily. Tyro Gary, number 10, with the goal. That coming at 30-24, two to nothing now, Woodburn. He's been tasting it for a little while now, so I'm sure he's very happy about getting that goal. And they're quickly, quickly, the uh, Bulldogs came forward there. Oh yeah. Quickly in front, they set up. Rodriguez on the left side again, in the middle. And there's the ball loose on there. the ground, yeah. cleared away. Wow. Ball was right in front and three Woodburn players were there. Just couldn't get a foot on the ball. There's the throw in. Boy, do they have speed on the wings. Reyes gets that. You can't blame Reyes in the last goal. They just set that up. And he had no choice. He had to come out um, to play the player with the ball because the player was alone and would have walked it into the goal if he didn't. Same play. This time, Daniels gets over and clears it out. Coming down this left wing, Bulldogs have just been brutal. Yeah, they've done a, a nice job of getting the ball up. They've done got a lot of offensive time with the ball so far this period. There's a Gary. Taken away. They have some number, well, Lopez. <laughs> Slowed it up a little bit here, but. Um, Lee, Lee's in the game. Hadn't played in a while, but in the game. In the middle and cleared away. Woodburn clears that away. <laughs> Maybe, nope. Oh, we got away from him. Can he get a shot off quick? Oh, chip Ball shot. Loose. Oh, goalie got a hand on it. Wow. Ball was oh, loose. Scary. Oh, this could be dangerous here. Here comes that same setup. Hey, Gary coming down the left side this that time. Boy, he's got speed and he sets those passes up. Oh yeah, he does. Uh, he's waiting on outside the now. Oh, There's a shot. a shot. And uh, Reyes <laughs> stops it. It comes loose, trickles towards the side of the net, and he falls on it. Oh, that was a very nice header there. Reyes was just in the right place for that to block it away from the go. Luis Reyes with a great save that time. A lot of that due to position. He got just in the right spot. 26 47 left to go in this game. Two to nothing. Woodburn. Daniels. That's Chris Lee. Leah Jr., number two. Here come the Bulldogs forward quickly. And they got number 10 out here on the outside this side. Uh, I don't know if that was outside of the goal, outside of the net, I think. It was. Yeah. It's not a goal, it was on the outside of the net. Some of the fans thought it was a goal, but it hit the outside of the net, not the inside. 
Here comes the Cub forward. If he can get this to this the outside here. Jose Gonzalez sends no. it forward. It's now goalie comes out and gets that. We got, a little, we got a whistle here, I'm not sure why. Well, we got a whistle and we want to remind you that the friendliest oh. vacation resort on the Central Oregon coast is Schooner Landing. Like Cape Cod style condominiums. They offer complete functional amenities to give you the relaxation you're looking for. Make your stay in Newport unforgettable. Nightly and weekly rentals are available. That's Schooner Landing. Okay, we're still talking. OCI Care is dedicated to the community and to the highest standard of eye care available. That's OCI Care. Oh. All right. Uh -oh, let's see what he calls here. They're in the box there. Right. That One of the Cubs hit the deck. Let's see what he calls here. All right, he's calling a corner. Looks like he's giving him a corner there. He's giving uh, the Cubs a corner. I thought it might even be a penalty. That's camp. what I was waiting to see. <laughs> but the Cubs are going to get a corner. This might be their first corner of the game. There's the kick. And headed away. This could oh, be a nice shot high. here. Lee, a shot. Oh, high. Chris Lee, a shot too high. <laughs> it was on goal, but too high. 23-45 left to go in this one. Two to nothing. Bulldogs lead the Cubs. Jose Gonzalez still on his feet. Yeah, he's been having to, he's been having to do a lot tonight, and um, you know he's still working hard out there. <laughs> Gonzalez races towards the middle. Was he trying to bicycle kick yeah, it? Yeah, he was. He was trying to get that one in the air there. Um, it was like a design play almost. <laughs> he was running, had his back to the net, and then tried to bicycle yeah. kick yeah. it. It's like it's like it's like he ran a curl pattern there, <laughs> and the free kicker put it up there for him. Daniels taken away, taken away by Jesus Rodriguez. Down the left side towards the middle. And too high. Nobody get a foot on that one. Bulldogs had two players right off the right post. We're closing in on halfway through the second half. There's a ball, wide left. You know, see two goals up on the board for Woodburn, but I'd say they've had the opportunities eight more times. Oh yeah, most definitely, and and you know, and they're, and they're still, I, I think, still think they're getting more offensive time out there. They're coming down. They're making shots quick. He'll pass this off. Yeah, again, it's missed. Oh, nice play in there in the middle that time on defense. You 
That play was that defensive play was by Brian Tapia. There's the ball off to the side. Steve from the left side, they've just got a great kick. It mm -hmm. goes right off the right post. Yeah, they definitely, um, you know, they definitely have an arsenal of tools there. Their their corner kicks are good. They um, both a uh, couple guys can get up high, do headers. Um, you know, um, some decent height out there. Um, you know, Woodburn is um, packed. It's packed as a good team. Those corner kicks, those are Hiro Aguirre, who scored the last goal. So Aguirre with a goal. Jesus Rodriguez with a goal. That's our scoring, two to nothing. Jose Gonzalez chips it forward. Oh, nice. On the run. They just cannot keep up with that ball and get a nice touch to get out in front of the defense. There. And the Bulldogs are so quick. Even on this grass, they've got blazing speed. Oh, yeah, they, they know this grass well. They um, move the ball well, know how to, what kind of touch to put on the ball. We're under halfway through the first half. I mean, the second half, 1907 <laughs> left to go here. And that ball is going to go out. Throw in for the Cubs. Kai Daniels on the throw in to Guzman. Aparicio. They try to move the ball forward, taken away. Nice stiff arm that time by Jose Gonzalez. Yeah, he you know he uses his body well. He has good experience here, um, but you know he he needs some help out there. And when he passes that ball off, um, we just haven't been able to get the touches Newport needs to turn it into an attack. Down the left side. Nice move that time inside in front. Tristan Wolf clears it away. Also, Woodburn keeps good spacing out there. Newport keeps good spacing too, but it's been, really been benefiting Woodburn a lot. There was a ball in front. There's a shot high over the net. Yep. Goal kick for Luis Reyes. Free kick. Gonzalez takes it, sends it forward. Aparicio. Aparicio in the middle. See, they're just not. Um, and Wolf back to Aparicio. Wolf go. hits the deck. Thir three players that time hit the deck. Tristan Wolf take this free kick. Jose Gonzalez comes out. Gonzalez going to take it. Almost on goal. Do we call there? He called an offsides. I don't know. Can you have an offsides on a free kick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was the call. It was offside on free kick. And that ball cleared away. Guzman clears that out of bounds. 
15.45 left to go in this one. Throw in coming up for the Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, there's a goal. Oh. All right, I'm looking for the number of the player there. <laughs> that goal coming at 15.07. I think it might have been number 17, but well, that's sure. who I think it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure, Steve. It's 17 okay. and uh, 17 for the uh, for the Bulldogs is uh, Osvaldo Barajas. So Bulldog go goal so far by Rodriguez, by Aguirre, and by Barajas, all coming here in the second half, three to nothing, our score. That's that one, that's the cocaine. Woodburn leads, and right back they come. There's a shot, and wide left. While we wait for the goal kick, I want to tell you about Mai's Asian Market, specializing in Asian and Pacific Rim products. Chinese herbal products, custom orders, and cooking tips. Visit them at 257 East Olive Street in Newport. They're open Monday to Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturday, 10 to 5. That's Mai's Asian yeah. Market. Go, Jimmy, shoot it! Corner, corner. It looks like they're giving them a corner off of that there. <laughs> okay, corner kick coming up. So that last goal, that came. 15.07 left to go in the game by Osvaldo Barajas. Ball in front, Woodburn has it. And cleared out, nice job by Daniels, but the rebound came out and a goal. A goal on the rebound. Now I'm not sure on that. The goal? Yeah, who got it? I think it was number uh, uh, 10, our orange, orange shoe guy again. Oh, okay. Steve says number 10, that would be the second game, goal of the game for Jairo Aguirre. I can see a couple of players, they were congratulating him down there, so I think that's right. I think the goal is by Aguirre at 13.31, so a minute and a half from the last goal, and now we're at four to nothing. Remember the first time these two teams played, it was four to one, Woodburn. So I'm looking at the way they're lining up here. It looks like they want they want um, Newport to go to the left side of the field here. They're gonna they're playing strong on the right side with their forwards. There's a ball forward. That last goal, Daniels had blocked it. The rebound though came right out in front, and Aguirre just. Uh, Hammered it in. Yeah, they let the ball play down there a little bit too long in that box. Um, Newport did, couldn't have an opportunity to clear it out of there. That time Daniels cleared that one out. Throw in coming up, it'll be for the Bulldogs. Barajas threw it in.
Got number 12 right in front of us. That's Paul Prudencio. Been very active tonight. Jimmy Martin now on the left side. He had started this half on the right side. They've moved him over to the left. Hard ball over there, headed and headed off to the right. Yeah, I think you got a, a. Want to remind you about our sponsor, a great title sponsor, Canyon Way Dental. Canyon Way Dental is focused on providing families with the most comfortable dental care on the Oregon coast. Dr. Hewlett and his experienced staff are ready to help you with all your dental needs and your ongoing dental health. That's Canyon Way Dental. Cubs with the ball, they trail four to nothing. Down the left side, knocked away. Thank you for joining us here tonight on Oregon Sports Speed at Woodburn High School. We've been bringing you some exciting 4A soccer and a lot of it comes from the Oregon West Conference. You know, Woodburn in that conference Newport in that conference, Staten in that conference, that big win last week, won the nothing over Woodburn at State. We'll bring you exciting soccer Thursday night, 6A action, the number one and number four ranked teams, Central Catholic and David Douglas. Ahead, forward, there's Gary. He already has two goals, dishes it off on the side. And he'll make a cross here. Okay, Gary takes up the position in front. They can't get the ball to him. He's looking for a hat trick. Mm -hmm. We're just about ready for the final 10 minutes in this action, 10-15. Corner kick coming up. Gary's going to take the kick. Short. And goes out. There's a whistle. Right there. Yeah. Goal kick, Reyes with a long kick forward. Daniel sends it forward. Ruiz back, can't get to it. Picked up by the goalie. Pareco. Here's Jesus Rodriguez, he already has a goal in this game. In the middle. And he set up again. Mm -hmm. He came down the right and set up a Gary. Gary tries to head the ball, can't. And there's the kick, oh, and there's the goal. goal. I believe that's 25, right? Yep. Yes. Yes. His second goal of the game. That coming at 8.03. And that's uh, Jesus Rodriguez. Jesus Rodriguez with two goals. Uh, Jairo Gary with two goals. 
The other goal by Oswaldo Barajas. Hey, well, we got a chance. I want to tell you about our title sponsor, Clearwater Restaurant. They're proud to sponsor the defending state champion Newport High School soccer team. Clearwater Restaurant is on Newport's Bayfront and gives you a one-of-a-kind dining experience with breathtaking views, playful sea lions, and award-winning gourmet food. Indoor and outdoor dining, full bar and lounge. Here's to a great year on and off the field from your friends at Clearwater. Five to nothing, 7.50 left to go here. Reyes, forward, Oscar Jimenez. Jimenez off on the side, this is Aparicio. Alex Aparicio, a long kick and that's gonna fade right. I think he kind of wanted to get that farther to the um, opposite side of the net. He did have a forward there coming up on the ball. Oscar Jimenez. Up on the side, this is Jesus Rodriguez. Two goals and he set up another one for uh, a Gary. In front, there's a kick. Dead on, straight in front, <laughs> and uh, just kicked it too, too high. high. Yep. That was number three, that was Edwin Silva. 647, 646, 645 left to go here in the game. But the temperatures dropped here 15 degrees since the sun went down. Cubs would like to set something up, see if we can get a goal here. They just have not been able to keep possession down on the offensive end very long. And I got six minutes exactly now to do it. Steve, this was 0-0 at halftime. Mm -hmm. It's now five to nothing. Five second half goals. Remember what I said at halftime? Do you feel like we're sitting on a powder keg? Uh, yeah, it was. It, it was, erupted. It, was, it did erupt. And, and once um, Woodburn found that, that net, um, they just build their momentum from there. Great wing play, great speed down the wings. Nice crossing on the inside. Here is uh, Jesus Rodriguez, works his way around, gets in front, has a player in the front, there's a shot, and Reyes saves that. And uh, I'm not sure, might have been a handball there. Is that what that is? Um, I'm not sure what he called. I, I didn't see a flag, I just saw him pointing. Well, I think it was an inadvertent handball. Oh, okay. We got a player down, too. It's our number 25. That's a player that's been running up this sideline here, making those cross passes. For Jesus a Rodriguez. Between Jimmy Martin in the first half, Rodriguez here in the second half, Hiroa Gary here in the second half. It's been brutal, the speed on behalf of the Bulldogs. Yeah, they have lots of speed, especially on those outside areas. Uh, lots of good dribbling, good ball handling out there to get around the defense and to make that cross pass. Four thirty left to go in this one. Aparicio sends it ahead. Miss there. This is where they always kind of lose the ball if they gain possession here. There's a kick high over the net. There we go. <laughs> so we got a goalie, we had a, kick, goalie kick coming here. We had an obstruction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goalie kick. That's Pareko. You got it, 
Uh, that they, was. Uh, but they don't have to let that play go, are they? No, that was uh, Jesus Rodriguez three times. Uh, he headed the ball up in the air, and then before it came down, he kicked it on the fly. Do you see the speed here their outside players have there? Yeah, Those the, missed touches like that hurt them. The Bulldogs just bring that speed down the side yeah. and set somebody up in the middle. They have, they have great speed on both sides. I mentioned Jesus Rodriguez, I mentioned uh, Martin, I mentioned uh, um, Aguirre, Agu although Aguirre has been playing a lot in the middle. Yeah. 2.45 left to go in this one. Five to nothing. Foul on the Bulldogs. Free kick coming up. That was Tapia on the free kick. Tries to kick it down in front. That ball cleared away, saved. Jesus Rodriguez. One forty-five left to go in this one. Free kick. Let's see if he'll go all the way. Go all the way for a touch from one of his players from here. We'll see. This is uh, Jesus Rodriguez. Yeah, he does. Aparicio. Tried to get the ball to Aparicio, taken away. Rodriguez sends it forward again. Like you see the hustle there by the um, Woodburn there. That man came all the way across the pitch to get that. That was number four, and that was Ricardo Hernandez. Fifty seconds. Woodburn's going to go to 11 and 1. And Reyes saves that. They'll go to 11 and 1. The Cubs are going to go to 6 and 6. Is that overall? Yes. The uh, only loss that the uh, Bulldogs have is a league loss. And five of the six league, uh, losses that the Cubs have are league losses. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. There's the horn. It's final. From Woodburn High School, our final score here. It was 0 0 at halftime. Woodburn wins this one 5 to nothing with five second half goals. Let me recap those goals for you for um, Woodburn. The first goal came just uh, 37 seconds in to the half. A goal by Jesus Rodriguez. Then a goal at 30. 24 left to go in the game, that was by Jairo Aguirre. Then a goal at 15.07, that was by Osvaldo Barajas. A goal a minute and a half later, the second one for Jairo Aguirre. And then a goal at 8.03, a second one for Rodriguez. Two for Rodriguez, two for um, Aguirre, and one for Barajas. Big, big impressive play for Woodburn here in the second yes, half. Yes, it was, it was. Um, you know, they showed uh, all their talent there, um, speed, ball control, um, teamwork on the crossing, um, individual efforts, uh, getting around players. You know, they, they showed all their talent there, um, especially in that second period when they were able to put up those five goals there. You know, uh, Woodburn has it all. They have speed, they have goal scorers, they have defenders, they have a, a pretty good goalie. You know, it's just... Uh, I think back a week ago watching them lose to Staten, and I wonder how did that happen? Staten, I'm not taking anything away from the Staten Eagles. 
but uh, they did manage to beat Woodburn. Now they beat Woodburn on artificial surface right, in right. their own stadium. Right. So. Now, now th and that's a big difference. The, the ball travels a little bit quicker. You don't get quite the same touches on it. Um, you know, they, um, again, they're, they're, when you're playing on artificial turf and you're playing on grass, there is some advantage, home, home field advantage there, having practice on it so much. All right, got some people we want to thank. We want to thank, of course, the people here at Woodburn High School, the athletic director, and their people who helped us uh, get set up here in the stands. Also want to thank our title sponsors, Clearwater Restaurant. Clearwater Restaurant is proudly sponsor the defending state champion Newport High School soccer team. Clearwater Restaurant is on Newport's Bayfront, and it gives you a one-of-a-kind experience with breathtaking views, playful sea lions, and award-winning gourmet. Outdoor and indoor dining, full bar and lounge, here's to a great year on and off the field from your friends at Clearwater. And Canyon Way Dental. Canyon Way Dental is focused on providing families with the most comfortable dental care on the Oregon coast. Dr. Hewlett and his experienced staff are ready to help you with all your dental needs and ongoing dental health. I want to remind you, Thursday night, start time 6.15, Strasser Field at East Elda Park. It's a matchup in the number one and the number four 6A boys soccer team. That would be Central Catholic and David Douglas. Join us there. Steve and I will be bringing you that. Friday night, 7 o'clock, it's the Lincoln Cardinal and the Madison Senators. That'll be a Madison High School football game. Uh, Shane Downey and I will bring you that action. And then next week, go to our website, OregonSportsBeat.com, and you can pick up all the things we're doing over the uh, next couple of weeks. I leave anything out, Steve? No, I think you got it all covered here. You know, I'm looking forward to a Thursday night. Um, you know, the players are out here thanking the fans for being here. You know, uh, good sportsmanship, a good night of entertainment on the pitch. And, um, you know, we'll see, see you Thursday. On behalf of our crew tonight, Ryan Johnson and Jim Thompson, I'm Dave Hall from Woodburn High School, where our final score in 4A Oregon West League play, Woodburn Bulldogs 5 the Newport Cubs, nothing. Good night, everybody.